Hey guys, this is Christian in real time, which is a rarity on this channel. I'm here for a very special, specific reason. My dear, dear friend and sister, Anissa, is turning 22. <laughs> 22, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. And if you, for whatever reason, don't know who that is, me and Anissa met going into our freshman year at Harvard, and we truly grew up together, went through college together from the beginning to being in her dorm watching The Walking Dead like every single day to graduating together um, over a little over a month ago. So, so much has happened. She's been beside me through so much. We studied abroad, alternating semesters. And I went to Ghana, she went to London the next semester. And she's just such a blessing. She's so kind, she's so funny, she's so intelligent. She's a great person to have in your corner. And I would not have been able to get through college without her. I'm so grateful for her. And as we enter into this next era of our friendship, I was like, what could I do special for her? What could I do to celebrate? And I decided to go back and edit a vlog that I made our freshman year. We like got wings. It was just a little, just a little vlog. We were moving out that week. We wanted to get some wings to kind of give like our farewell meal for the fall semester. And I think it's kind of cool to see how we were back in 2020 now that it's, you know, four years. Yeah. I just love her. And this is how I show my love by doing, um, things like this. So happy birthday, Anissa. I hope this year brings you all the things you could wish for and more. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and yeah, I'll be back around here at some point. We definitely got the wrong one. Like more. This is way more than we got last time. Um, well, we hungry. <laughs> the Nisa. <laughs> it's a cold y'all that's why we have these coats on because <laughs> why is that funny <laughs> we're out here this is like harvard yard cute <laughs> and we're gonna go get wings like i said before so we're walking to the train station and we have to take two trains to get to northeastern so that's the plan i think that's pretty much it do you have anything to say to the people no. <laughs> okay. You were a child, on your knees. Well, I was a little scared. I thought we missed the train. <laughs> so I was just a little concerned, but <laughs> we're on it now. All things are good. We get off the stop at Northeastern. This is our third time. Third time. This is our third time coming to Northeastern for food because Harvard doesn't have very much of anything, but I can talk about that at a later time. Now it's just gonna be a little montage until we actually like sit down and get the food and then we'll come back and chit chat. Okay. We're here at Northeastern. There's Anissa, that's Northeastern over there. But we're at Windsover to get chicken and then we're gonna go to this Korean place and get chicken there too. And I put some of my Instagram story for people to ask us questions and we're gonna sit down and answer those questions. And it's gonna be super cute. So we're sitting beside this like, there's like a generator thing, but just ignore that. So we got our food. I brought us water because we don't pay for drinks in this household. <laughs> I asked you guys to ask us questions on my Instagram. And so we're just gonna answer these questions right now. So the first question from my sister, are you excited to go back home? I'm not going home because I applied for fall extension and winter recess. <laughs> so I'm gonna be in Cambridge until spring semester starts. <laughs> I'm going home, as y'all already know. Am I excited? I am excited to have like a break because like going home means that we're having a break and like we're not gonna be having school. Just, yeah. <laughs> means we're not gonna be like having school. So I'm excited for that. I am excited to like sleep in my own bed, get food, like home cooked meals and all that jazz. So I am excited, I guess, to go home. It's like a change. Like I was excited to come here and I'm also excited to go home. We don't have no napkins or nothing. They have napkins in the bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the next question I already know because I looked on my phone. It was, what's it like being a black girl at a PWI? I get to answer first. Um, you have to project. I mean, I mean, it's not that bad. You just have to make sure that like you surround yourself with vibes that you can like contain and maintain. Yeah, I agree. I think it's, it definitely can feel, I think it's as, 
it's really like all of what you make it because like you can hang like if you hang out with black people like if you're a black girl or like really any person of color but since she said black girl i'm gonna answer black girl if you're a black girl if you hang out with other black people a lot even outside of like classes then it'll be okay because like you have like a community but like in your classes you definitely will be like one of the only people like one of the if not the only like one of very few black people in their classes like i think we both have classes where we're like the only black person right mm -hmm. Yeah, we both have classes where we're the only black person. So that's clearly like not ideal. And those situations are kind of like, mm, but we also are in virtual schools. So maybe that makes it different. Overall, being a black girl at a PWI, there's a lot of stuff that you have to deal with that you wouldn't if you were at an HBCU. But if you can find that community, then you'll be okay. That community is really important. So find your people and get your degree. Period. Someone said Corona Bays. I don't have those. What's a Corona Bay, Anissa? <laughs> a corona bay for those who, for the all who don't know is like your bay i guess that you met like i consider it a bay you met during like these times like during corona i don't really know if either one of us need to speak on that um i definitely can't but i feel like if you have your little corona bay that's cute yeah of course like. <laughs> that's cute the election i mean obviously no more trump so <laughs> I mean, that's a blessing in and of itself. Power to the people. But I also think we need to give energy and give resources to your community organizers, people who are actually doing the work in the communities, because that's where you're really going to see the change. So, period. Do not neglect your local offices. Elect there too. The president really isn't doing much. I mean, Trump did a lot, but he, he, that's another thing. <laughs> but the people that are actually making changes to like laws like your senate your house of representatives you have to make sure to vote for that because like people are forgetting about that so mm -hmm. certain parties are taking advantage of that fact and getting voted in by voters who are more aware of what's going on yes my roommate said you're a really cool roommate <laughs> shout out to nikki love you girl <laughs> <laughs> Love you, girl. XOX. Is it difficult caring for natural hair in college? I know it's kind of random, but I'm curious. This is a great question for us because we both have natural hair. Um, this is a pub. This is a fake pub. I'm, I'm no, kidding. it's not. <laughs> this is very much my own hair. <laughs> Is it difficult caring for natural hair? Honestly, I would say yes. Like, okay, I'll say if you come into college and you don't have like a natural hair care routine already, then it's gonna be difficult because you are already dealing with like the challenges of finding a routine and you're also trying to deal with like possibly communal bathrooms, really tiny bathrooms, like if you have an in-suite one. And so that could be difficult. I came in like already having a routine and I would recommend getting a protective style, at least for some of the time, because you're not gonna wanna wake up and do your hair every single day. For me, it wasn't really that difficult considering that like I came in with goals with my hair and I I think that's something that you really have to like make sure to have like if you come to co college and you don't really understand how to do your hair then it's definitely gonna be a difficult mm -hmm. change because like one you don't have your own bathroom to like throw products away two price changes may mm -hmm. really affect that oh my gosh wait yes having natural hair in college it's not doing your natural hair it's finding products in like salons and places especially in cities like the cambridge that are very white not I, let's just keep it real they're very white and there's really very little black resources in Cambridge. If that's what you're looking for, it's gonna be difficult. Like we have to go like 45 minutes to find a beauty supply. That's crazy. So <laughs> that definitely does make having natural hair difficult. So I learned how to braid my hair. I'm pretty much learning how to do everything. Not like, I'm talking about braiding with extension. It's doable. That's the thing, it's definitely doable. Let me see the next one. COVID. All my homies hate COVID. No one likes COVID-19. COVID-19 is not good. And I think the way that it was handled is really disappointing. And as COVID-19 is the reason why I'm leaving this week. It's not even in the semester, y'all. <laughs> and I'm leaving because of COVID-19. So COVID's trash. We hate her. We don't like her. And overall, she gets a score of like negative 100. Like just trash. No one likes COVID. What self-care means and how we apply self-care. This is self-care. Honestly, I love chicken. <laughs> Oh, I love chicken wings. And so eating chicken wings with my friend, that's self-care. Do you have anything to say? Oh, also taking naps. I take naps a lot, even when I don't have things like I shouldn't be. I go to sleep. Self-care is eating a pint of ice cream and watching your favorite Netflix show in your bed. Self-care also looks like taking a shower. 
Mm, Self-care also looks like simply making your bed. When you get into college, especially in the atmosphere that we're in right now, the smallest things are self-care. Because like half the time, to be like real with y'all, I suffer from mental health issues. There's times where I cannot get out of bed. And like simply getting out of bed, taking a shower, that can change your entire day. So that can also be counted as like self-care. Anything that really makes you happy and can definitely like turn your day around, that's self-care. Harvard, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> I think a good thing about Harvard, the people. And when I say people, I mean students. The students are really the people that are running the school and giving the school its acclaim. Like if there's no, like if the students were not at Harvard, Harvard would not be Harvard. Maybe that's a hot take, but no. I said it. <laughs> it's not hot, that's very lukewarm. I think a bad thing for me, Pick one, there's a lot. <laughs> okay, also, this is, this, is a, this is a cold take. It's not crazy. The food. The food at Harvard is not good. Don't come to food, don't go, or the residence halls for that matter. Don't come to Harvard for the residence halls or dining because you're going to be disappointed. The dining, Annenberg, trash. That's why we're here spending our own money on food. It's a Wednesday, y'all. <laughs> It's a Wednesday and we're out spending money on food because our dining hall is not sufficient. So that'd be a bad thing. I think an ugly thing about Harvard, this air of like in, like the opposite of being genuine. Fakeness? Is it fakeness? Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ow. So I think it's hard to make those genuine connections with people in real life because everyone is so, con like a lot of people are really concerned with getting this next job or this next internship or this extracurricular or this like leadership position or like getting all A's and it's like that kind of thing. And I don't want to say this like scare people or anything because I think that happens a lot just in college in general. Sometimes you may have to search or like kind of pry through to find people you can make genuine connections with. The good, the good, the good. The good. <laughs> the good would definitely be in the people, not just like students, but also faculty. Because like, if you are struggling, they're definitely here to help you. I mean like they're paid to be here. They're so nice. Just make sure to ask, like especially like, I know a lot of students that would be like applying to Harvard. I'm one of them. You don't usually ask questions. You're usually the one student who knows what to do. Calling into college is definitely like humbling. I think my bad would be the food. It's actually atrocious. It's not good. And we love, we love the HUD staff. Mm -hmm. We love the we love the custodial. But the food. We love the workers. We, we love the workers. But the, not product. the product. It's a no. It's, it's definitely a no. A no. Um, everything about it is a no. The ugly. Ooh. I think it would not be like the fact that people are ingenuine. I think it's the fact that people try to cover up the fact that they have privilege mm -hmm. by trying to act as though they don't have privilege. Because like one thing you will know about Harvard is that there are rich students. I may not be one of them. <laughs> but there are rich students. Yeah. And, like they Because like that's the stereotype is that everyone at Harvard is rich. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. Right. But people who are rich like don't want you to know that they're rich. Yeah, but you can see it, especially during mm -hmm. like this pandemic. You can see the fact that they're eating out almost every night. I cannot afford to eat out every night. And that like wealth gap show because like there's students that are like we have like there's some students who have to eat Annenberg and Annenberg is just not that good but then they see like their counterparts going out to eat to restaurants every single night I think the very last question music suggestions or any kind of faves at the moment stream Hope Kala if you don't already she's R&B kind of indie her voice is just everything she just released an album she's great I love her I will always have a thing for her mm -hmm. My music, I don't even really know. <laughs> I guess if you want to see any of the music I'm listening to, you should add me on Spotify. Put it in the description box below. Other faves, I really liked Ratchet on Netflix. I finished that like pretty fast. Hollywood That's like the is most. Good. Yes! Hollywood is so good. I finished that such a long time ago, but that was really, really good. For any of those who watch anime, <laughs> This depends on your age. Middle school and up, there's like Promise Neverland on Netflix. So far, it's great. Delicious. Scrumptious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. And then there's also the assassin like Assassination Classroom, Attack on Titan, things like that. We'll keep you occupied for a long time because they are long. That was our little miniature mukbang. Not really miniature, it's long, but <laughs> that was our little mukbang, our little question to be answered. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to finish eating and then we're going to go back to campus because like it's dark. We're going back to Harvard now. I think I'm gonna go to Insomnia because I'm feeling kind of like in an insomnia mood, you know? You're never not in an insomnia mood. <laughs> That's my everyday mood, but I feel like extra special now. So yeah, we don't actually do schoolwork. That's the biggest, the biggest, um, I don't even know what to say. Scam. Scam? Lie? Farce? <laughs> Fallacy? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, we don't do homework. We just sleep and eat food. <laughs> We're back in Cambridge, Harvard Square. We're going to Insomnia, I already said that. 
And so I'll give you guys a little walk through of Harvard Square. So you can see how it looks. I mean, I guess it's like cute if you've never seen it before. I guess. <laughs> Ah. Probably gonna be the end of my little day today. Um, Y'all saw our adventure Look how though. Cold it is. 28 degrees. It's freezing. It's freeze. Yeah, but it's very cold. Our hands are chilly. This is gonna be the end of today. And yes, gonna eat these cookies now. Bye.